After we had been baking here in the warehouse for about a year, we had our neighbors following their noses and buying, giving me a couple of dollars and buying a, one of the extra loaves every day. And my partner Paul said, Frank, you could actually do retail here. So we got a few tables from Office Max and right in between the two ovens there, we set up shop and by, I think it was uh, summer of 97. So after a few years of having a store in the, in the heat of the bakery, I realized that we needed to wall this off and, and do something proper. So we moved in in uh, February 97 here. And for the last 13 years, this 800 square feet has uh, grown into being an unbelievably vibrant and busy shop seven days a week where we may not sell quite everything that we, every product that we make, but we have a good variety of all the breads, cakes, and pastries that we make. People really had a joy of coming to shop and being in the bakery. And so when I thought about making a store, I didn't want to cut that part out of their shopping experience. So the big window where they can come and watch us shaping bread at the bench uh, was a big part of keeping that connection. They have a desire to come to the source and I wanted them to see some of the theater of what's going on. And when we have a moment when we're in production and we see a couple or a family that have a profound interest, we'll run in and take them and watch them, have them watch us load the oven and they get a joy out of doing that. I have a desire to share the joy that I get out of uh, being a baker here with people. So when I look through the window and see someone interested, I'm happy to run them around. Uh, it's become uh, larger groups want to do it, so they uh, formally call and sign up. And Katie and Jake, uh, who run our store, are great hosts for them and guides to give them the whole experience of Zingerman's Bakehouse. I think uh, we are able to spread the word that we love doing what we're doing, that we're pretty good at doing that. And uh, I guess one of the things we love to do is feed our guests. So when they come, we send them home, making sure they've had a great sample of at least a couple of things that we make.